hey, you guys, I, I really don't think this is going to take too long. Ten minutes max. Can anyone smell anything? Hey there and welcome to Business Gaming. As always, I'll be your host, John, your one-stop for all PSVR title reviews for the sight impaired in mind. Today brings us to review Static by Tarsia Studios, original release date April 2017. So let's have a little bit of a look at the blurb of the game. So Static is a VR game about solving puzzles in a place you don't know, with a person you don't recognise and hands that aren't completely yours. Join Dr. Injun and his delightful assistant Edith on a journey to unravel the complexities of the human mind, awakening to each new day with a unique hand-mounted puzzle device to solve. You must use your brain, eyes and ears to solve each mystery, but this being VR, it's hard to know which of these can be trusted. Okay, without further waffle, let's kick this review straight off, as always, with graphics then. So the game is set in multiple rooms of Dr. Injun's complex. The room detail is basic, but it's not too shabby. The puzzle boxes are well detailed, but nothing exceptional. But given that this is 2017 graphics, I'm going to award it a 7. Moving on to sound, the voiceover for Dr. Injun is good as and when he interjects with some dry humour. The puzzle boxes all respond differently and have different sounds, and they're all sort of accompanied by the necessary whines and clicks. Uh, there's occasional quirky music in the background, which adds to the game as well. It's not great, it's not, it's not poor, and it's going to get a six. Okay, so looking at innovation, I'd say this is kind of a unique game. I've not seen anything similar to it before. But, you know, the, the VR platform lends itself well to solving puzzles. And I feel that Tarsia have kind of gone above and beyond, including sort of adding to the puzzle, not just the, the bits in your hand, but there's external clues uh, from your environment, and from audible sounds. So, yeah, innovation, it's going to get a nine. Okay, so how immersed was I? So given the concept that your senses are all shut off in VR and all you've got to work with is the sight you've got within VR, the feel of the DualShock 4 and the sounds, um, I'd say the game is kind of one of a kind really. Um, I found myself getting quite lost in this game, you know, you, you got quite sort of frustrated with the puzzles and you're absolutely determined to sort of work your way through them. Honestly, I've spent hours getting lost into this game and I think for that alone it's going to get a 9. So, moving on to fun factor then, so how much fun did I have with this game? Well, quite a bit, to be fair. Um, if you enjoy puzzles, I, you know, I, I like a puzzle as much as the next person. There's, there's something here for everybody. Um, you know, some of the puzzles are easier than others, and some you can sort of do in about 10 minutes or more. Um, others keep you going for hours, unless you're brighter than me, I suppose. So, uh, I, I would say that if you could resist the urge to cheat after <laughs> immense frustration, there's a lot of satisfaction in completing the puzzle without any help. So for this alone, I'm going to give it a 9. It's, it's a really high one. So, accessibility. Oh. <laughs> this is where it all falls apart. You know, after I played the initial game, I got such high hopes. I thought this is an absolutely amazing title. And I think it'd be great for, you know, the sight impaired. Uh, you've got the puzzle in front of you. You can bring it up close to the face. You can see everything you need to see. It was absolutely amazing, especially on the demo. I absolutely loved it. But after completing the full game, uh, sadly that's not the case, and this is uh, this is a shame. But you know, I, I suppose if you've got full size, it adds to the game. But the problem we've got is that, well, the problem I found is that at least 40% of the the puzzles require sort of clues that you're going to pick up from your external environment. So from you know things within the room or from audible things. Now the the hearing for me wasn't a problem, and I found that added to it. Obviously with the sight problem. It's made it quite frustrating, and unfortunately, uh, it meant that certain parts of the puzzle I wasn't able to, to work out at all. Um, and I did have to sort of go and cheat on YouTube to see how people got past it just to complete the puzzle, because there was just no way it was going to happen for me. Um, and I suppose the whole purpose of buying a puzzle of the game is to kind of work it out for yourself. Um, so if you if you're buying this and looking at the answers, it, it, it kind of defeats the object. And it's a real shame. Uh, I, I suppose if you've got better sight, it really would add something to it. But from an accessibility point of view for me, it's low marks. In fact, it's the lowest one so far, and it's going to be a three.
So moving on to tracking then. So generally the tracking on the whole felt good. There are a few occasions where I have to keep sort of resetting the controller, um, especially um, sort of in between the puzzles where you have to sort of construct a cube together and the parts. But it did kind of slip out a few times there, uh, but it didn't really detract from the game. So I'm going to give this an eight. So, ease of control. So, by the very nature of puzzle games, I think things are supposed to be a bit sort of tricky uh, and a bit confusing. However, I did find that the controls are quite intuitive. Um, you know, the left-hand side of the puzzle box is controlled by the left side of the dual shock, the right-hand side by the right-hand side of the dual shock. So, it was all quite intuitive and it, it kind of worked very well. Um, I would say and be warned about this PS5 users. When I got my PS5 on launch day, um, I did give away my PS4 and the DualShock 4s, and I really should maybe have held one back because the game will not work with your nice shiny new DualSense controller. It's a DualShock 4 only, I'm afraid, so bear that in mind. Um, but ease of control, it was fairly simple, so I'm going to give it a 9. Okay, moving on to value for money then or bang for your book. Uh, well, let's start by saying that <laughs> there's a free demo level for download in the PlayStation Store. So you get the first puzzle, see if you like it. It's worth anybody's time to download this and try it out. I'd happily recommend it to anybody. Um, I paid originally, I think, 11 99 for the game UK in the PlayStation Store. I did wait about 12 months to see if this would come down in price because I'm quite thrifty. However, it never did. So, yeah, I did shell out full price. It's the equivalent of... Uh, 16 us dollars or uh, 14 euros or i'm sure there's three or four things else it's equivalent to i'm not sure mm. okay so uh, yeah i mean i coughed up full price and i've got to be honest with you there's uh, there's more than enough in the game to justify uh, the money you're spending hours and hours of uh, <laughs> pure enjoyment or pure frustration whichever you feel yeah for this i'm going to give it an eight okay so if we total up all of the scores, then we're looking at 74, which isn't too bad, to be fair, considering this is a 2017 game and how lowly I've had to sort of score it on the accessibility. Uh, having completed the game, would I still buy it? And I think I probably would, if I'm honest with you. I mean, you know, for the price of four beers, um, I've done most of the most of the puzzles um, without too much sort of cheating. And it did give me a lot of satisfaction, you know, to complete the whole puzzle without any help or at least parts of it. So there's definitely entertainment and a lot of frustration to be had there. Um, I think given how I have struggled with these puzzles and looking at some of the guys on YouTube, I think some of them have sort of uh, left a, a bit to be desired. So keep an eye on this space because I think I'm going to do some of my own walkthroughs for these. So people that have got a sight impairment might actually benefit from this. So have a look out. They're, they're going to be coming soon over the next few weeks. Um, so let me know how many levels you completed down in the comments. Did you have a certain puzzle that you preferred? Um, or have you just given up? <laughs> or have you decided not to bother after the demo? Drop it down in the comments. Let's have some feedback. As always, if you've enjoyed the content, like and subscribe. It tells me I'm doing a good job. And uh, I'll be seeing you. Or maybe not.